house that they could both share together. Uh, and they, there's, uh, you know, a, a fair amount. We don't haven't talked about it very much, Kathy and I, but you know, I get, I get pictures of, of people that want to be my friends and I go, okay, I don't, I don't know this person. I haven't accepted a, I haven't accepted a friend on Facebook in a, in a, in a while. <laughs> I can't remember the last time I accepted someone, but you know, you, you have people sending you pictures and then it's like, Hey, you get these messages and there are more pictures. And I'm like, this is somebody that has been blackmailed by scammers. Uh, and now they've got, pic they've got pictures of them and they're now using them to attack at me. Uh, you know, posing as a lady who wants to get to them. It's like, it's, it's just a, a never ending cycle that takes place. And the, uh, the, uh, the, the emotional investment, the abuse, uh, B verbal abuse, mental abuse that takes place here. And then the, uh, you know, the, the thievery that takes place, it's, uh, it, it's out there and people need to know about it and need to be worried about it. Um, so we've been talking to them now for about two years. Um, it started off with, we're going to hire more people. We're going to educate um, everything that we're, that I think we've all been hoping for. And um, we've seen very little progress. They have said that they're doing this and they're doing that. And, um, have we seen a lot of difference? Not really. No. Um, a lot of the other anti-scam groups are reporting hundreds and thousands of accounts per day of the fake accounts. And I've heard many times that they're not seeing a difference. Uh, it seems to go in spurts. It seems like sometimes they're trying new things with their, uh, with their reporting system. And, and then all of a sudden, none of the accounts are being taken down. So.